welcome to Aspen Isis video tutorial. My name is Kingsley AK. Let me give a little description what Isis is. Isis is a process modeling software. It is used by world leading oil and gas producing companies. It is also used by refinery companies and engineering companies. They use this software to optimize process design and operations. In this video tutorial, we will teach you how to create a new case. Like here, we have a case. To create a new case, come here, yeah. create a new case. So, this is the first thing you do when you want to begin the process simulation. Okay? We'll also teach you how to modify and set desired measure unit <coughs> to set your unit to correspond with the unit of pressure to set your unit to correspond with the unit of client's temperature to set the unit to correspond with the unit of the gas flow okay to set your unit you come here Yeah, yeah. This this is the field unit. As you can see, bars per day, US gallon per minute, pounds per feet cube. These are the parameters. So you set your unit to correspond with the parameters. Okay. Now to go to the SI unit. Okay. This. Is the same parameters the units meter cube per hour, meter cube per second, kilogram per meter cube. Okay, let's go down. Yeah, okay. Oh, also, we teach you how to clone your own units, you yeah, know, like as I did. Okay, we also teach you how to enter components and property method that is. Define a flow package. Yeah, this like this. We teach you how to enter the gas, methane, ethane, propane, butane, water, and in some cases, hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide. We teach you how to input, add these components, and then choose the right property method so that the uh, the fluid package can be complete. Okay, we'll teach you how to build a process flow sheet, enter specified parameters in order to fully define material stream. This uh, material stream is this, yeah, so they are fully defined, and when they are fully defined, it has this uh, dark blue color. So, a a material stream that is not fully defined as this light blue color. So we we'll teach you how to enter the essential specified parameters so that the material stream can be fully defined. That is, enter your temperature, enter your pressure, enter your gas million standard cubic feet per day. Okay. Yeah, and choose the right property method. Let's do this. We we'll also teach you how to model process vessel, such as separator, surge vessel, storage tank, settling tank, in order to execute flash calculation. And this is your separator. This is your knockout drum. This is your storage tank. So we we'll teach you how to properly uh, model your vessel so that flash can be executed. Flash is to give up gas from the liquid phase. Yeah, we have the gas, and this is the liquid phase. So we we'll teach you how to modify process vessel, and a vessel that is uh, fully defined is has this grey appearance with this. Uh, outline dark outline 
a vessel that is not fully defined will not be able to as a uh, flash calculation will not be able to be executed like this so this vessel is not fully defined and it has this red appearance which is different from this so flash uh, execution will not be possible here in some cases when a an essential parameter is missing in as much as you've added two parameters but if an essential parameter is missing the vessel will have a yellow outline a yellow outline and flash calculation will not be possible likewise for instance if I delete remove the temperature you, you could see the outline yellow you could get to there's no gas so because temperature is missing so flash uh, execution um, flash execution is not possible yet so put temperature back okay watch this is fully defined fully defined you can see how okay so we teach you how to model process vessel okay we also teach you how to model pressure changer equipment such as pumps, compressors, valves, and pipeline. Uh, this pipeline is fully defined, so we teach you how to model the uh, pipeline so that it could be fully defined. There's a valve. Okay, we have our pump here, compressor here. Okay. So pressure changer equipment change the pressure of the oil stream. So the pressure uh the upstream of the equipment is different from the pressure at the downstream of the equipment. We we'll also tell you um the operating conditions in which you could use this pressure changers equipment. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. We'll also teach you how to model temperature changers equipment such as cooler, heat exchanger, line heat. Okay. There is a cooler, there is a heat exchanger, and there's our line heater. Okay. Um this temperature changer equipment changes the pre the temperature of the umst upstream. Um, incoming upstream fluid. <coughs> we'll also teach you how or what operating condition when to use this uh, pressure, this temperature changing changing equipment. For instance, if your crude coming from the wellhead is uh, highly viscous, the viscosity is very high. Sometimes you need to add a a line heater to reduce the viscosity or in case you have an issue with emotion in the crude you can use a line heater go to do with that also you can use cooler to cool the temperature of your fluid in order to protect downstream equipment or you can use the heat exchanger when you're trying to avoid issue with hydrates in a gas facility so we teach you to model this uh, temperature changer equipment. Okay. Next, we'll teach you steps in oil characterization from crude assay. Crude assay uh, contains petroleum laboratory data, true boiling point, light ends, and bulk properties. The bulk properties include the API value of the oil, of the crude oil the molecular weights and the viscosity so um, ISIS use this um, assay and convert this assay into discrete hypothetical components what I mean is this <coughs> now 
this uh, series of disc discrete hypothetical components generated by HiSys. It's HiSys uh, use the assay, the crude assay, and generate this series of uh, hypoth uh, discrete hypothetical components. So we teach you how to perform oil characterization. Okay, yeah. So we also teach you how to um, and generate reports for your simulation so you could present to your clients or to your superior. And if you have any question or you want further inquiry on how to go about process simulation using HiSys, you could reach me. My name is Kingsley, Kingsley AK. Just choosing the right fonts to make it good. Yeah. Uh, so. My name is Kingsley. Okay, here we go. Kingsley. Okay. So my phone number is zero eight zero six four three eight two seven four nine. Okay. My email address is ak marizu at gmail dot com. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.